Hello there, welcome. Um, it's a story today. Um, I was in the supermarket and somebody approached me and commented on how somebody had parked. And I was, oh, and I realized that the person had parked kind of slightly to the side. And a thought came to me and I thought to myself, they're doing the best that they can. And then I looked at the person who had talked to me and I went, oh, they're doing the best that they can. And then I went, oh, I'm doing the best that I can. And so, yeah, we're all, we all should look really different. We are all different. We're all really trying to juggle so much. And so you're doing the best that you can and you're doing great. You're here. You managed to organize this. You've turned up amazing. Okay, your work is done. Uh, already today, you have a foundation to stand on, something to really deepen into. You've turned up to yourself. So come, let's move. Come into your child's pose. Arms are out long, just settling in. And so one of my arms is always a little bit tighter. Years ago, I injured it a little bit. And so I can force it to be the same shape as the other one. Or in kindness, I always slightly bend that elbow so it's working at the same level as the other shoulder and it's in kindness. So just notice, are you forcing your places of weakness or vulnerability to be the same as everything else? Or are you allowing them to be slightly more vulnerable? It's an interesting thing to look at. So just notice, could you bend one of your elbows a little bit and not force your shoulder to be really painful? Nice, and then walk your hands over towards the right and just really feel the side of your body. Today is all about the side body. Uh, there was a request for elephant. She's way back in connect and she's like, oh, I love elephant. So inspired by elephant, we're gonna move into the side body. Nice, and then walk your hands over towards the left and just lean into that. Nice, bring your hands forward. Cat pose, round your back, arching your back. So this beginning sequence is like ironing out the creakiness, rounding your back, arching your back. One more time, rounding your back arching your back. So bring your spine to neutral and then make a fist out of your right hand and using just your arm, scrub your hand forward and backwards. So all you're moving, the only thing you're moving is your right arm. Scrub it forward and backwards. And then straighten your right arm and keep your right arm straight and move the rest of your body to move your arm. So now my arm is staying straight, but all of me is trying to move my arm forward. Hmm. Let's try the other side. So scrub your left hand forward and back. You're only moving your left arm. Scrub, 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 scrub. And then straighten your left arm and move everything else to glide your left hand from forward and backwards. So interesting, nice. So sit your bum back a little bit and your hands are floating just above the floor, your two fists. And then just with your arms, and draw a circle with your arms in one direction. Hands are just above the floor and then circle in the other. Nice, and then forward and backwards, only arms, forward, backwards, forward, backwards. You see where we're going right now? So straighten your arms, and now only using your body, try and swing your hands in a big circle, like you're scrubbing the floor, scrubbing brush, scrubbing brush, and you to use your bum and your back and your knees, and then scrub in the other direction. Make the movement as small as you need it to be. And then forward and backwards. And I'm watching my scrubbing brush <laughs> as it moves forward and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Nice. Hands to the floor. Oh, God. And stretch all the way back. Downward dog. So years ago, I had a yoga studio in Bombay in India. And um, I was after teaching a yoga class. And then I was lying on the floor doing Pilates. And just bend one knee, bend the other knee. And my cleaning lady was standing in the door, staring at me, lying on the floor. 
And she said, you know, if you cleaned your own house, you wouldn't have to do all that stuff. <laughs> and it stayed with me forever. I was like, what am I doing? Why do I create effort, false effort in my life when I could actually like do stuff in my life that is creative and connected? So then I just walk your hands forward, all the way forward to the front of your mat or walk your feet forward and then come all the way up to stand. So reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, bending your elbows, bending your knees all the way down, hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, hands to your shins, lift and look forward. Hands to the floor, stretch your right leg long and back, step it back into a lunge, step back into a plank. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders and just gently look down the beach. You just have a sense of reaching through the eyes, seeking. Nice. And then hands to the floor, round your back and push back into a cat. And then all the way back into a downward dog. Nice. Step the right foot forward. Step the left foot forward. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees all the way down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, lift and look forward. Hands to the floor, stretch your left foot back and step it back into your lunge. Step back into your plank, knees to the floor, belly to the floor, and then elbows underneath your shoulders, look way down the beach. And then look behind you and go, is it there? Over the right shoulder maybe, or whatever shoulder you're looking at. And then look the other way along, hmm, is it this side? Nice. Bring your right hand to the floor and then look away to the right. So I'm, I'm seeking the ice cream man. And then elbow to the floor, bring your left hand to the floor and seek way down the beach. No, only the sunglasses man, that's it. Pushing back, cat pose, pushing back, downward dog. Step the left foot forward, step the right foot forward. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. So come to, actually just stand here a moment, we're gonna practice elephant. So standing in the middle of your mat, an elephant is a bit like a mixture of, of cleaning your windows and gone with the wind. <laughs> so, um, so take your right hand and kind of sweep your right arm so that your right, Upper arm is just resting beside your eye, okay? And so we're just there. And then you can also twist and you can look down. So you're just looking for, just feel, oh, there's a stretch through the right side of my body as I do that. And then come back. Left hand up, gone with the wind moment, arm beside your face. And then you can also turn a bit and you can look down or you can look up. So there's loads of different places that we can reach into in the side of the rib cage. And going down. So just begin to swing into your version of Gone with the Wind Elephant. So maybe you're, I love sweeping low and then looking up a bit. It just feels really nice. Sweeping low, looking up. Just feel. And you're just feeling the side body. Really track. Oh, side body, side of my arm. I'm moving in wellness. I can feel the sense of my shoulders. Nice. So come kneel on the floor and imagine you have a Christmas tree in front of you. <laughs> and so reach your fingers up and you're putting something up above you, up onto the tree. And then you go, oh, I need to reach for that. So keep your left hand up and then reach, point your right hand down towards the floor beside your right thigh. Just point. And then come back up, reach both hands up and then point your left hand down. So you're looking down towards the left calf and you're just pointing your finger down. You're not reaching for it, you're just going there. And then reach your hand up and do that again. Right hand down, point, maybe point towards the foot. You know, both hands up, 
and then left hand down, point. And come back up, pose arms up, interlock your fingers, and just lean gently from side to side. And you're just feeling deeply into your side body. Nice, all the way down. We're gonna try elephant here. So swing your right arm across and then point your left fingers back towards your calf or your foot. And the main thing is that we're not, I'm not doing, I'm not doing gung ho here. I'm not like whoa, really pushing back into my spine. I want you to be able to kneel at your Christmas tree and point and reach in function and in wellness. I don't really care if you never touch your foot. I don't care if you never bring your head to the floor, nothing. It's like in your function, in your movement, can you just really get juicy as you reach and point, as you reach and point. Nice job, cool. So come down, push back into your downward dog, and just really stretch out through your bum, stretch out through your legs. Have a bit of a wiggle. Heels pull back, come up onto your toes. Mm, heels pull back, come up onto your toes. So I really love that notion. You know, we should all look really different, but we're all doing the best that we can. How do you, how do you really live that right now? How are you kind to yourself? How do you not harshly judge yourself, compare yourself, expect other than what is? Same thing with everybody around you. How do you accept that this is their best in this moment? And um, that's what it looks like. Bring your right foot forward. So both knees to the floor. Bring your right foot forward till it's standing on the floor. And then reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. And right hand is just beside your hip. And then glide your left hand over towards the right. And your right hand down towards the floor. And then come back up. So it's like a... A gentle reaching of your right hand, reaching of your left hand. Come back up one more time and just hold that. So you can stay there. You can lean a bit more into your front knee. You can turn your head towards the left. You can look up towards the ceiling. Find your distance. Main thing is that you're feeling the left side of your body and you're breathing and being well with this. Nice, come back to center. Bring both knees to the floor, high kneeling. Step the left foot forward. <laughs> nice, reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And then gliding your left hand down towards the floor and your right hand over towards the left. So you're going left-sided. Come back up to center. Over towards the left. And really feel like your fingers are seeking something. Like I'm in my fingers and I'm reaching and seeking. One more time and just hold it and breathe. Again, you can bend your knee a little bit more. You can turn your head to look towards the right. You can turn and look up towards the ceiling. I'm just finding your distance. Always create sustainable movement. And coming all the way back, both knees to the floor, push back, downward dog. So sustainable movement is that you do a little bit every single day and you can keep turning up because you didn't push too hard. So doing um, something every day for a week is better than doing something really strong one day and then not being able to turn up again. So just feel that. So help your right foot forward. So drop your knees down and then step your right foot forward. So you're stepping your right foot between your hands. Tuck your back toe under and then hop your left foot so that it's turned at a 45 degree angle. Bring both hands to your front knee, rising up, and then turn your torso towards the left. Uh, arms reach wide and turn your head towards the right and then just really feel like you settle into your legs. Back leg is straight, you're pushing down into the baby toe side of your left foot. Front knee is bent. And then turn your right palm towards the ceiling and sweep your right hand up towards the ceiling and drop your right hip a little bit more. And then maybe sweep your right hand a little bit over towards the left or behind you. Modifying as always. Find your way of doing this. Nice. Come all the way up. 
Bring both hands down, either side of that front foot. Step back, downward dog. Last of the standing. Bring your left foot forward between your hands. Whatever way you do, hop, skip, jump. Bring your foot forward. Turn your right foot at a 45 degree angle. Both hands to your front knee, rising. And reach your arms wide. Your chest is facing towards the right side of your mat. And just settle in, deepen in. Front knee is bending. Baby toe edge of your back foot is strong. Turn your left palm. Reach your left hand up. Right hand down. Right hand is reaching down the back leg. You're dropping through that left hip a little bit more. Nice, come all the way down with your arms. Turn your toes towards the right side of your mat. Slide your hands down until your elbows are on your knees. Bring your hands to the floor and just glide from side to side. Just bending one knee, stretching the other. Bending one knee, stretching the other. So find your distance. I'm gonna give you three different instructions. This might be already strong enough, okay? Or Bring your hands over towards the right foot. Come up onto your toes and begin to sit your bum down a little bit more on the right. Come back up. Hands to the left, bend your knee. Coming up onto your toes. Nice, all the way back up. Again, right hand, hands to the floor on the right. Bend your right knee. Come back up. Last one. Down on the left. Come back up. Come sit on your mat. Whatever way you do, notice how you did it. You're probably very good at it now. Uh, legs out long in front of you. Just roll into your belly. Big circle. So lots of people are telling me that they like candles as they do this in the morning. Oh, you know, a few years ago I did, um, I did a, a ritual, um, an event with this wonderful, it's and ritual. And she, she talked about, you know, creating a sacred space for yourself, a space where you can be you. And so I light my candle every morning and I rise up and I just really allow that I'm gonna be me while the candle is lit. So reach your right hand forward as far forward as you can. And reach your right hand back. And just really reach back behind you. Right hand forward. And then right hand back. Nice, left hand forward, uh, left hand back, really reach back, feel your abdominal muscles engage, left hand forward, and left hand back, <laughs> nice, so come lie on your mat, your knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor, and then just sway your knees, as you sway your knees, just feel the it's like the cacophony of sound that emerges from your feet, your knees, your pelvis, your belly, your spine. Arms can be wherever feels comfortable, whatever feels nice right now. Nice, come to center, keep your feet on the floor and roll like there's a clock on the back of your pelvis. So I'm really maneuvering around my pelvis. Um, I always get the image that I'm a plate that's just fallen on the floor and I'm going change direction. So feel it, feel your spine, feel your pelvis. Very nice. Cool, squeeze the right knee up onto your chest, hug it in. Stretch the left leg long. Change, draw the left knee in, stretch the right leg long. And change, right knee in, stretch the left leg long. And last one, left knee in, stretch the right leg long. Nice, both feet to the floor and bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. Hands rest on your belly. And then flatten your lower back down into the floor and close your left knee over towards the right and try and squeeze your knees together over there. Nice, and then come back. 
and then draw the left right knee over towards the left and squeeze your knee together over there and come back left knee travels over squeeze your knees together as low down to the floor as is comfortable and last one squeeze your knees together as low to the left hand side as you can and back up nice both feet to the floor last movement roll up and down along your spine and notice in you where this feels really nice and really feel how how beautiful it is to move your spine it's like watching a sunrise or a sunset you like the glory of the the ability within you is phenomenal it's amazing how you are it's amazing how connected and how able you are just feel that i just keep resonating it's like this little bell that keeps going off inside of me that goes oh i'm doing the best that i can and it's so kind and it just resonates in me i'm like oh that's right so just feel that as you roll up and down you're doing the best that you can nice and then just come to rest hands on your belly hands on your chest wherever it feels comfortable and just notice where you're grateful or where you feel well right now. Nice. And slowly rolling over onto your side, come all the way up. And then I'll just come all the way forward. Nice guys. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. And uh, yeah, another thing uh, somebody said recently, you know, they usually they would judge people who put up their Christmas lights in the middle of November. And they said, oh, yeah, damn, you know, whatever it takes, you know, and it's okay. Thanks, guys. And be well, and I will see you all tomorrow.